It is no secret that the cost of goods and services, including food, clothing, gas prices and labor, is at an all-time high. The same is true for the cost of construction materials. I've been noticing the, the steady increase in, in prices for quite some time now, especially brought on by, by COVID now. I've been noticing the, the constant increase in, 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 in cost in construction materials. I would say maybe late, late 2020, going into 2021. Professional engineer Isani Enriquez recently did a comparison between a price estimate he did in January 2021 for the construction of a three-bedroom house and one he did just a few weeks ago. The difference in cost was shocking. Building a three-bedroom home, by Enriquez's estimates, cost almost $50,000 more than it did two years ago. For the most part, I think the highest, the highest increase has been, probably has been in, in the cost of um, in steel, right? Um, in most instances, since we're well, making making that comparison between the two, from 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 that time until now, um, the price has literally has doubled. In some cases, almost almost tripled. So that accounts for a, for a huge portion of it. Um, Along with the, the, the cost of probably every single other, the main, the main materials in, in construction, everything has definitely gone up. So, what has contributed to this hike in prices over the last two years? Well, most of it is beyond the local economy's control. Importation costs have increased by more than 400% over the last two years according to Delroy Fairweather. The increase in, in, in the cost of construction material attributes to the, the rise in the cost of acquisition or acquiring goods uh, coming into the country um, with the freight of uh, the rate going up at least three to 400% that has a direct cost in the, in the acquisition cost. So for example, um, for an item which would ordinarily cost like $100, to add import before the pandemic, um, you would now have to add uh, three or four hundred dollars on top of that just to get that exact item here into Belize. The additional expense is passed on to the consumer at the local hardware stores. If these suppliers were to keep their prices at pre-pandemic levels, they would stand to lose and in some cases even go bankrupt. We import um, everything from A to Z in construction. If you would want to, if you would want to uh, say that, like for example. The only thing we would produce here locally would be um, aggregate, which would be uh, what we call the sand and gravel. Um, cement that has has to be imported, that comes in overland by truck. Um, rebars, which again forms a part of your foundation, that those are also imported. The simple thing as lumber um, that people would use to, for farm work, those are imported and everything that has to be imported. Again, like I said, it, it's, it's with uh, at a Prime price. With the devastation to homes caused by the recent passing of Hurricane Lisa, undoubtedly, all this comes as bad news to homeowners whose houses were destroyed. And for those homeowners with house insurance, you may want to revisit your insurance premiums. According to Andrew Rowe, the general manager at RFNG Insurance, the inflated cost of construction material has a direct impact on home insurance policyholders. If you had a home, as you said, you know, you might have built it a few years ago, or even if you've built it many years ago and you've been insuring it for years gone by. If you, before 2020, before COVID kicked in and before all of this inflationary pressure started to, to pile up, if you had your home insured for a certain amount, let's just say $100,000 before the pandemic, and now we've seen, say, 20 to 30 percent inflation in construction costs. Your home has increased in value by that same inflationary amount. We're just talking about the material. I'm not talking about land or anything. There is under every insurance policy across all insurance companies in Belize something called the average clause. And you may have seen commercials that all of the insurance companies put out there saying that if you're not insuring your building for the replacement value, today's replacement value, then you're underinsuring your building. The factors associated with building and owning a home in today's economy have compounded the fears of potential first-time homeowners. While shipping costs are expected to decrease over the next few months, 
Belize's import-based economy remains vulnerable to external shocks. I would say if you have the means to do it now, do it now. If you want to wait two years from now and maybe think about or, or, or hoping that the price is going to go down, then my opinion, that's sort of like a gamble. If you want to roll the dice and take, the, take that leap, then hopefully it works out in your favor. But I would say if you have the means to do it now, take, take the leap of faith and do it now, you know. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.